Today I'd like to show you guys Saxon Math 5-4. So this is for average 5th grade or advanced 4th grade. So if you've been using Saxon all along, you probably would have done Saxon K, 1, 2, and 3. And this is the next book in the series. And it is very different from the first four Saxon books. They are written by different people. And this is the first one that actually has Saxon's name on it. So he worked on this one. The earlier ones are done by someone else. So you're going to see a big difference in um, all of the Saxon books from this point onward. So this here is the second edition. And the second editions are hardcover, sturdy, and people like um, the hardcovers because they can use them for all of their children and they just last um, a long time and they work really well for lots of children. So this is um, only $10 on Amazon and eBay usually so it's actually a really good deal there are I think they're on the fourth edition right now but they're paperback now so they're not as sturdy so some people like to get the older ones because they'll last longer and the older ones are so much cheaper too too like I said this only cost me ten dollars so let's take a look inside and if you've seen my videos on um, math one two and three you will see how different it is. This has 141 lessons. So this is the student book. Here is lesson one. And there isn't a teacher's manual. It is not scripted. And that is a huge difference between the previous books and this one. So it is not scripted. If you have um, a student who likes to work independently, they might be able to do this independently completely on their own they can read it to themselves and then get right to work on the problems so this is a little box of extras up here we don't usually do this little box in my family except we do the fact sheets and I'll show you those later that's the one thing we do out of here then we read together the lesson and then there's some practice problems and then your problem set. So another thing you'll notice if you've been using Saxon all along is that there are many more problems in these books versus the previous books. So here we have 25 problems and it's like that throughout the book. So again, lesson two, you have the lesson, you'll have some practice problems and then let's see how many 25 problems for lesson two and that's how it is all throughout this book so this is um, meant to be reused over and over again the students are supposed to copy this out on a separate sheet of paper and do their work on that but because these only cost about ten dollars now I've been buying them um, for my kids to just write right in these books because they're so inexpensive now so that way they don't have to rewrite everything so that's how we use these books so I was actually very happy when the scripted lessons were done in this book I found teaching this way um, it fit my personality much better than the scripted lessons so one thing you will notice about this book versus the previous ones is, like I said, there's a lot more problems and the problems are a lot more complex. So when we made the switch from Math 3 to Saxon Math 5-4, it was actually quite a difficult transition for my daughter when we did this. It took her most of the school year to really um, start doing okay with this program because it was such a change there were so many more problems and it was more complex right off the bat 
So if you are transitioning from Math 3 to Math 5.4, just be aware that um, you might have a little difficulty in the transition. So that's what this looks like, and I'll show you toward the end how it looks. It's pretty much the same throughout. The, it is a spiral method, so you're going to be reviewing previous concepts all the way to the end. And here, it tells you what lesson to look back at if you forgot how to do it. So for problem 24, in parentheses it says 25. So if you forgot, if the child forgot how to do that problem, then they can go back to lesson 25 and review how to do that. So it looks the same throughout. There's some extra practice in the back if you need supplemental practice. So that's this nice, sturdy, hardcover second edition Saxon Math 5.4. So if you're going to use this book, you will need several other things along with it. So this is the answer key. So you absolutely would need the answer key. So that's what this is. And then you will also need the test forms. And this does not just have, it has the tests in it here. So these are examples of the tests. But it also has, very importantly, in the front, it has your facts practice worksheets. So you make copies of these. These are reproducible. And so each day you would do a fact sheet. So what I did for my daughter when we did this was I made one copy and I laminated them all. So she did them with dry erase markers. It didn't quite, you know, come off very well, but we were able to use these the whole school year, these laminated sheets instead of wasting paper and ink and printing them up a whole bunch of times. And also with her, we only did half the page so that she wouldn't be completely overwhelmed every day by many, many, many math facts. So, so that is Saxon Math 5.4. So if you guys have any additional questions, please leave them below and I will get back with you. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.